What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So recently, interracial dating has been a big topic back on black YouTube. Jay Ellis recently got married to a Serbian woman and people have been talking about it uh, left and right. But I want to talk about uh, the Tariq Nasheed interview on the No Jumper podcast. Now, the No Jumper podcast is uh, owned and operated by Adam 22. And he's a guy that is uh, in, in the L.A. area and very similar to people like DJ Vlad. Um, he operates somewhat of a podcast that appeals to um, those people popping in the black world. So whether it's hip hop or entertainment are sometimes athletes. Um, now, it's, we know that Adam 22 is definitely white. Um, however, he, he actually makes a particular observation about rappers who he, he comes in contact with and who he deals with as far as who those rappers date. So we'll play that clip. There have been a handful of times in which I've heard rappers speaking off the cuff, not on camera at all, mm -hmm. and I realized how disinterested they are in dating women of their own race so then when i see you know the argument taking place on twitter about the fact that you know men get money black men get money and then they don't have any interest in dating in their own kind i mean it's, it's very much is a real so you've heard it there he he notices that a lot of black men are specifically dealing with non-black women and he also talks about that the stereotype that black men get rich and go date white women or non-black women um, is a very popular stereotype. And he actually believes there might be some truth to it. And I kind of want to talk about that because many people believe that, you know, it's just because the woman is white or just because the woman is a symbol of, um, you know, of a, a higher social class. And in fact, there is a video that I saw on TikTok and um, it was an older sister who just moved to Oklahoma City and she witnessed that it was a lot of young black men dealing with a non-black women and it bothered her so much so that she made uh, a pretty lengthy TikTok video. We'll play that and then we'll analyze it. Hey, y'all, baby, I'm going to need you to get in here for a minute. Now, I was just sitting here thinking and I was having what I call a black and white thought moment. And uh, please believe, baby, it's just my opinion. Some things are a fact, but it's just my opinion. So I moved here to Oklahoma about two and a half years ago, simply to take care of my mother. Now, one thing I observe about Oklahoma City here was that the black men here, the majority of the black men I saw all had white women. That's right, I said it. They all have, had, and have white women. I mean, baby, from ages uh, 60 something to middle age to um, uh, very young, they all had white women on their arm. I mean, baby, it seems like it was some kind of epidemic. <laughs> And I always walked around going, what the hell is going on? I mean, baby, a sister ain't got a chance in Oklahoma, let me tell you. So I started uh, a few black men that I knew that did have black women. And I would talk to them all the time. And the first question I would always ask is, what the hell is going on in Oklahoma that the black men here all got white women on their arms, married, all kinds of mixed kids. Now, this is not a racial statement, baby. I am just telling you the fact, what I see, what I observe. So I asked him this one man and I asked a couple of men and all got basically the same answer. So he said, there's two reasons why you see this, a lot of this here. Number one, the young black men here don't want to work, you understand. And the white girls here will definitely take care of them. <laughs> the next thing he said, but then when you get the black men here that have something, then to have a white woman on his arms becomes status quo, baby. Understand that. It's status. 
to have one on your arm and not your queen, you understand. Now, first of all, you young black men, just because a black woman don't want to take care of your black ass, because otherwise you be living at your mama house, baby, I'm going to need you to get a job. Then go and look at your queen and go and take care of her. Be partners with her. Work with her. Because the things that are going on in this world, baby, she needs you. And secondly, <laughs> status quo, baby, ain't nothing like a queen. You understand? We're nothing like a queen. Black women are going all the way to the White House, to the Supreme Court, baby. Understand that. We are queens. And lastly, let me tell you, we need you. We need you. Our black women need you. And obviously it's just not her. Uh, a brother sent this to me, Brother Mark, I believe. He sent this to me from a sister that moved from New York over to Louisville, Kentucky. Um, and she noticed the same thing, that black men were not dealing with black women there. So we'll play that. You know, it's pretty bad down here in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm from New York, but black men down here, they don't date black women. And when they do, it, they're usually like bright, almost white looking, white passing that, you know. I want to kind of go back to uh, the older sister's video. When she gave two reasons that black men were dealing with non-black women, and one of them was that um, young black men didn't want to work and white women would take care of them. That was the first thing. Secondarily, she said for the black men who were doing fairly well, <clears throat> it was viewed as a somewhat of a status symbol. So, you know, in other words, black men need to look in the mirror um, and go check out what's wrong with them. Go take care of their black women because black women are queens and all of that. I'm not going to go into all of that stuff because we've heard it before and it doesn't really make a lot of sense to talk about that right now. But again, in any of these videos, nobody has ever asked black men, why are they making these particular choices? And I'm talking about black men who are actually dealing with uh, non-black women. Now, in the case of Olivia Muhammad's video, the older lady, she was asking black men who were with black uh, women, which for me was not the right source it would have been better if she would have went to um the african-american men in, in question <clears throat> and i think that what we're, we're we're leaving out here is the treatment that's something that everybody's leaving out here with olivia muhammad she put the blame solely on black men she talked about black men either being broke and looking for a white woman to take care of them or looking for a status symbol it, she never took to consideration and it may have been different in her time where women actually had a lot of respect for men and did things for men. It could have been different. <clears throat> but she never took into consideration that these men were actually having a better experience with these women as mates. These women contributed more to the relationship than women in the black community. These women were better uh, trained to do so. So every time that you see that a black man is dealing with a non-black woman, it's obviously it's because, you know, he's a sellout or something like that. And obviously you do have brothers who are, are who fit that narrative, but I don't believe that's always the case. I believe that you just simply have ladies um, out competing black women uh, for those same sort of mates. How do you explain Jay Ellis? Jay Ellis is not lazy. Jay Ellis just chose the best mate for him. What about Robert Smith? He was married to a black woman. What about Andre 3000? He had Erica Badu and now he's with a non-black woman. What about Chris Rock? Chris Rock was married to a black woman for many, many years. Now he is dealing with Lake Bell. So again, nobody really looks at what are black, what, what role are black women playing in the development of relationships or the destruction of them? And, and, and what role do they play? Do black men play a role? Of the, absolutely they can. But nobody's looking at it from that perspective. And until we get that right, it's never going to be solved. And then when you do come out with that position, it's like, okay, you're a Kevin Samuels hater or whatever like that. And it's a bunch of shaming tactics like Olivia Muhammad did. <clears throat> Pretty much, oh, we need you, black man, but we're going to berate you into being with us. And it's not going to happen that way. And this is coming from me, a person that is 
in the pro black community again in the pan african community and i would I, I definitely agree with her and uh you know the hey black men and black women and each other i do believe in that but what's the incentive no incentive no results so guys what do you think it's your boy Shay duke jackson peace out